Hello beautiful Aquarius. We're going to look at your energy, your partner's energy, and the obstacles as well as into the romance angels and seeing what spirit has to offer for advice. Okay. Nine of Swords. Aquarius, you are all up in your head. You cannot get over something. There is something that you feel as all, all eyes are on you. You feel very vulnerable. You definitely feel as though you have remorse and regret. You may have trusted somebody that you didn't think, that you don't think you should have trusted. Nine of Wands energy. You want to move forward very rapidly in love. You would like to have a very stable love. This is how you feel about your person. Five of Wands also says that you're feeling, you have been feeling conflicted a little bit neglected the king of pentacles you do feel like your person this is very much king of pentacles energy is taurus energy when we get the five of wands we get leo leo energy and it looks as though your person has felt as though they're competing and you know you put them in this situation i feel as though many of you are working on a goal you're moving forward very rapidly and within a stable relationship that's how you view it. You have taken some risks and I feel like you're making moves in your career and it is impacting some of what's going on in your love life or your feelings. Your feelings about it are definitely impacting your love life. Okay, so how does your person feel about you? Where are they at? What's going on with them? Let's see. So for Aquarius lover, significant person. They're feeling pretty feisty. They're throwing caution to the winds. They are holding back though. There is a feeling of a little bit of, of hurt. They feel as though they've been going gung-ho in the relationship. They feel as though that's not really being reciprocated. And I, it looks like that over here. The Six of Swords says that your person's very confident that the two of you will move forward. The Tower card though is speaking to the fact that there's something destabilizing here. There's something that's going on here that your person feels could destabilize the relationship. The foundation looks shaky. As far as they're concerned, the two of you are in some serious trouble. They definitely want to move past it, as do you. You're the Knight of Wands, they're the Six of Swords, but that's your energy. So they do feel as though you are walking away from them or a situation. They could be walking away from you. We're going to have to clarify this. Okay. So the obstacles right now in this relationship. Let's look at your obstacles and see what's going on. What is going on as the obstacle in the relationship for love for our Aquarius friends? High Priestess Energy. Not really talking, keeping things to yourself. That is loving energy. It's Cancerian. We have the death card. So both of you are, are feeling as though you might not be in your lives, for in one another's lives forever. There's a feeling that it's been a long time since you've had fun. There's a feeling and a clarity that if things don't get better, that the relationship really is in trouble. But what we see is, is more the worry about it. These are the obstacles are really more attitudinal. So, you know, having more fun, these are absolutely things that can be fixed. So you need more fun. That's one obstacle. You're not having fun. The moon card says that you're not really sharing with each other what's going on in terms of your heart space. And moving too slowly with one another is an obstacle also. So now let's look over here and clarify the energy of why you are feeling all up in your head. Remorse, regret, what's going on here with Aquarius. You have been working too hard. You have been working yourself into exhaustion. It looks as though you are giving up on a relationship or you're, you're letting the burden down. You're just, you're going to stop feeling guilty. You're going to let it go. The Five of Wands is that you put your person into a competitive situation or they with you. 
you are not going to feel okay these are really interesting reversals so what we get here is that you're very happy in the relationship Aquarius I feel like there is some sort of legal career issue that's in the way I don't feel that this is so much you know I don't feel that you are not in love with your partner I feel as though you are we have the Hierophant card you look like you've been together for a period of time um, but I feel as though you've been carrying a heavy burden at work and you have not be You've not been really emotionally fulfilled in the relationship simply because the two of you have not really been doing anything together due to heavy work schedules. Let's see what the energy is around your person. Let's clarify this. Why is your person feeling like they want to throw caution to the winds? They want to get out of this dark situation with you. Your person wants that. They want passion. They want action. Your person wants to go somewhere, maybe to travel together, maybe even move. But your person wants to shake things up. They're very clear about what they want. So tell us about that clarity. Tell us about the clarity your person has. The King of Wands energy, they want you. The King of Wands is very passionate. The King of Wands feels as though they have to take action. Your person has a lot of clarity. Why is the Tower card here for your person? Six of Cups. They feel as though you're, you're going through a period of time in which they're trying to support you, but they don't think they're really succeeding. They feel as though you're in this crisis of sorts, that you're not really actively involved with them. They are looking forward to you returning. So it does speak metaphorically to the fact that they're right there waiting for you, Aquarius. Nine of Wands energy. They see that you have fire in your belly. They're really afraid that you're, you're sort of being, you're causing a lot of chaos in the relationship simply because they think you're working too hard. They feel as though they could help you more if you would let them. <clears throat> Your person definitely wise a six of swords here for your person. They want to move this relationship forward. Page of wands. They want to get you out of your head. They want to cheer you up. They want to bring love and stability back to the relationship. They feel very much king of swords energy that they do have the clarity that both of you are highly invested in the relationship. So the energy here for you and your partner is that your, your partner loves you. They're very devoted to you. They're not going anywhere, but they feel as though, they're feeling as though with your lack of engagement with them, that you may be feeling that they are less than. The Justice card says that you need some balance in the relationship. So let's look and see what Romance Angels have for us here. Let's see. Aquarius, Aquarius, again, this is your happy place. This is your your desired partner. Again, look, we have Libra energy twice. You know very much, Aquarius, that you need to be stable. You need to be balanced. Why is, okay, so how is Libra, I mean, excuse me, how is Aquarius doing in this relationship in terms of what Spirit wants you to know about this connection? Give your relationship a chance. Well, give it some time is what I would say. Time is of the essence. Both of you need to have some fun. Getting to know each other. You know, you've been together for a while. Um, and what I think has happened here is that the two of you have gotten caught up in life and you've stopped having as much fun. Healing family issues. So... Part of what's going on with you, Aquarius, is some, some feelings of insecurity due to what you deem as a failure. But again, I don't think it's the relationship. I feel that it is about career and success. Somehow your identity is suffering because you didn't accomplish a goal. Let's see how your person is feeling. What are the Romance Angels messages for your person? They are invested. They are very invested. They just feel like you're not bouncing back from a situation that's been painful for you. Release your ex, but you are not your ex. I mean, you are not their ex. 
So it does look as though they're having issues with someone worth fighting for. So this is interesting energy because it shows that an ex has been in contact with them. It does look like there's been communication. And you have to release them. This relationship is coming in as being worth fighting for. So whatever your person is going through, they have some issue with someone from the past. It could be a family member. I will say that straight up. Yep. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Interesting energy. So if you're, if you're married to this person and they have an ex-wife, then they need to deal with problems with children. For your person, you know, you may be discussing having children and trying to figure out if there's room or room in your life for children in terms of monetarily, in terms of your long-term goals. So I feel that you're probably at this age where you're trying to make a lot of decisions. You're trying to make a lot of progress in career. Let's see what the advice of spirit is for you on this relationship. There's a lot of love here. So let's see why we have this energy here. Why do we have the energy of the High Priestess? Resilience. Okay, good. The relationship is very resilient. Why do we have the Death card here? What can Spirit tell us about the Death card? Gratitude. Okay, so... You both really need to engage with each other. It looks as though you're living under the same roof and you've become lonely. It looks like, you know, working at home has taken its toll. You do need to show your gratitude to one another to help heal whatever's happened here. I don't think this is a deeply serious problem. I think it is a, it's related to just trying to go on to the next phase of your life. It's been very extreme. That has been one of the challenges. There's a lot of heat here, but it's also pressure. And we see the path. So the path forward is very clear for both of you. It does show a relationship in which, you know, the two of you love each other. You want passion. I want to look a little bit more into, though, the energy here of this ex and your partner and the crisis that you may or may not be aware of, Aquarius. Let's look and see what this X card is. Let's pull three cards for the X energy for Aquarius's partner. Okay, there we go. Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, King of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is that your person just needs to get over the past. Every time they have an argument with the ex, it opens old wounds. For those of you who, with whom your ex has children, it looks as though that will be taken care of. I don't see this as um, an issue with your relationship at all. I see it as both of you having normal stresses of life. It's taking its toll. Spirit is saying, look it. Go out, have fun, move faster, commit sooner, you know, have gratitude. Um, you both have a lot of clarity, but it's still the relationship needs some TLC. So sending you love, Aquarius. Have a good week. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.